to Crazy Van Gogh Shime. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we're gonna be reacting to the next episode of Obi Wan. It's part five. Yeah, part five. And oh, already I can see the thumbnail and I see Darth Vader. So hmm, I'm very excited. Um, I was warned that I'm probably gonna lose my mind on this one. Thankfully. As bad as Twitter is, I've avoided all spoilers. Literally, the minute that I knew I couldn't watch this on time, I just put the message out, boom, and then closed the app, closed everything to do with social media because I don't want to see anything. The internet can be so critical that it... I've always, I've always said this, like, sometimes looking at the internet, it can really ruin the experience of a show. And I guess sort of your own mindset of it. But then I've been talking to my friends and even just thinking about it myself that I... Absolutely enjoy this show. I don't care what anybody says. I love it. I'm so happy that we're even getting this show. So I'm 100% grateful that this even exists. So whatever. <laughs> so we are continuing with this show. I am going to be late to reacting to this. Um, It's currently 11.14 at night. The far over. And I've been trying to avoid people's reactions because I'm, I'm a big fan of other reactors. So I've just turned off all notifications so I don't see anything. But anyway, let's jump straight into this. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Ooh. <gasps> Dude! I love the Clone Wars and the prequels, but like, I did not expect us to get that. <laughs> it, <the laughs> I literally was like, people kept saying like flashbacks, 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 and I was like, probably not gonna happen. Who knows? They probably have something that they're gonna do up their sleeve. But <laughs> let's watch that again because I was literally just having like a a, a haw oh, the hair. Okay. I'm fine. Totally. Totally. Let's watch that again. Why? <laughs> Never mind. Let's go. Oh. Was beginning oh. Like you weren't coming. Master. Oh my. Are you? Oh. Then let's begin. So this is when he's a Padawan. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. What a shot. But it's dark. It's. I'm sorry. Anakin, Darth Vader having flashbacks about his time as a Padawan. I yeah. Let's just continue. The tracker worked. He's arriving on to beam as we speak. Oh yeah, forgot about that. Grand Inquisitor. Oh shit. Damn, she got the part! Pretty good! Sir. We'll do whatever we can to help. Oh, Obi-Wan! It sounds like... Right, Old Obi-Wan's coming back. Oh, Obi... <gasps> All those lightsabers. Oh! Oh! Too aggressive, Anakin. Be mindful. <laughs> oh oh my god what a shot what the heck oh, 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 oh. dude why it's so good if we defend our position together then by the time they get inside we'll be gone you heard him rb they ain't kidding around. They came here for a walk. Ah! Reva's coming. 
<laughs> oh, I love her, like... Her personality, it's so unhinged. I'm going to need a ladder. It's not playtime right now. Do what she asks. You trust me, I trust her. Get her the ladder. Oh! <laughs> Listen to the uncle. He knows. Damn. God damn it, I got hay fever. I love it. But you can try to make them better. Yes! Very true. It doesn't matter what. Yeah! Since you were a youngling, that's how you knew you saw it. Enough! Yeah. So it was her at the beginning of the series. Oh my god! of us thought Reva only wanted this because she wanted to show that she wanted power from Darth Vader and wanted his respect. Oh, but that flip! That's so good! I did not see that coming. That was great. Oh, I love that. Especially because it makes sense because at the beginning I did think that that was her as a kid um, in, in the Jedi Temple when it opens. It literally starts on her character and I was like, wait, is that supposed to be like because I didn't know her name at the time, but I was just like, oh, is that the this character, um, Reva? Um, but then I was like, nah, it's too much of a coincidence. But it makes sense. It all lines up. She was there with Order 66. She saw Anakin when he came to kill the younglings and all the Jedi and just everybody who was there. Um, and just, yeah, that makes so much sense. And just all her her anger and her even her, like, like brashness and um, unhingedness makes sense now because oh I love that. Anyway. Whoa Jesus Oh God Oh nice Oh my god the music Oh so good Oh my god Tella Oh my god she's such a badass <gasps> Oh no, 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 oh, no, tell her! Oh no! No! Oh no, 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 no! Oh no, no! Oh no! to the first fight maybe but it's Vader it's the strongest force wielder ever Oh my god. Oh! There. Your weapon's gone. It's over. Oh, Anakin. Oh, my baby! Oh my god. He fast walking. He's on a mission. 
I will bring him in myself. Oh, yeah, he's just... Might be right there. Oh, what a scene. Oh, my God. Strutting! I told you guys, he struts. Leia! Oh, precious heart. Oh, no, the thing! Oh! <laughs> I mean... Jesus Christ, dude! Oh my god! What did I tell you? The oh my god! Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I hate it. My baby. Oh, these shots of Darth Vader, my Jesus. They're beautiful. Oh, my Jesus. Oh. There he is! You to live, don't you think? <laughs> Leave you where we found you. In the gutter where you belong. Uh -huh. Oh no! He knows something's wrong. Oh, Luke! Oh no! Baby Luke! Oh! I mean, <laughs> this. Mm. Yeah, I I know I said that the last episode was amazing, but this I did not expect half the stuff that happened in this episode. It was so good fantastic episode so well done and just the pacing was well done the fighting was amazing and can we talk about the flashbacks dude because that paralleling as well as with the um the fight that we had in the first not the first in the fifth no in the third episode with was it the third episode yes the third episode um we had Obi-Wan fighting, and then it was almost like a replica parallel to that. And then also just the themes in the conversation that they were having as, like, young Obi-Wan and Padawan and Anakin were, like, talking. It's so, it reminded me so much of, like, the Clone Wars. So many of those lines, like, was, like, a parallel to the show and, like, Anakin's journey and towards the dark side. Um, and, dude, seeing Hayden as Anakin... <sighs> It gave me such feels, and he just, my child, like, I, dude, I literally said it on the other day, like, on Twitter, I will literally fight to the end for Anakin Skywalker. His story is one of the best, like, amazing stories, and one of the most well-done story arcs. Like, I know the writing is not the best in the prequels, but still, his arc is just beautiful. It's amazing, and just to see him go from this amazing, strong Jedi to this D Darth Sith Lord is just... And again, just to have Hayden as Anakin just makes it all the sweeter and all the better. And just even <laughs> Ewan as like young Obi-Wan, just the the hair, the mullet, just, oh, I love that. And just, he looks so good. And they did such a great job setting that up and setting the scene as like this fight um, or like sort of like practice between um, Master and Padawan. Just so beautifully done and just... Hmm. 
And just, oh, the fight, uh, the whole thing with Reva um, was amazing. I love her so much. I said this from the beginning. I love her character. She's so cool. And just to have that little bit of a twist, I, I saw it coming in a way at the beginning. Uh, I was guessing it. But just, it's so well done because it makes sense after you see the whole thing. Because at first it's like, oh yeah, she's trying to like become this Sith Lord. She's going to get Obi-Wan. She wants uh, like, not Anakin, Darth Vader's approval. And then just this whole turnaround of it being like, oh crap, she did this all because she could get close to Darth Vader so she could kill him and get her revenge for what he did to the younglings back at the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. And just, it's... So good. And it also, like, sort of um, explains sort of, like, her anger and unhingedness and just her brashness. And even just the fact that she's not as polished as the rest. Like, I, I've said this last week, but she's not as polished as the rest of the, like, the, 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 um, the Inquisitors. I was about to say sisters and brothers, but the Inquisitors. She's not as polished as they are. And even as a Jedi, she's not as polished either. She's very, like, brash, very, like, sort of, she reminds me a little bit of Kylo, like, the way that he fights is very, like, rough, violent, and just constantly, it reminded me of Anakin as well, like, that brashness of, like, hitting the lightsaber over and over again to create that pressure. Just so well done, and I love the way that she, like, has, like, oh, like, just, I don't know, evolved as a character, but, dude, that last moment, like, what does it mean for Luke? Are they gonna go after Luke? Because... Don't go after my precious child, my other child. Like, no! <laughs> we also have the whole thing with Luke. So that's going to be interesting. But also, I'm excited to see Obi-Wan versus Darth Vader. Because I believe that's going to happen, obviously, in the last episode. And because, especially in this episode, it was so beautifully done. But also just, like... It's not, like, full on your face, like, this big change for Obi, but you can see that a lot of his old traits has come back, like, this leader stepping out of the shadows of what he used to be and becoming, like, the leader that he used to be and is trying to encourage the crowd, like, obviously saying, like, we can't fight, but we can do this. So, I don't know, it seems like such a parallel to how he was in The Clone Wars, but in The Clone Wars... Even though he wasn't as eager to fight as Anakin, he also did a lot of fighting. He also killed a lot of people. Um, but in this case, it was like, instead, no, we're not going to fight. We're going to retreat, but we're going to do it in a very smart way. And oh, Tala, dude, I love her so much. My heart will belong to her. And I can't remember the robot's name, but both of them, like, I was like, okay, at least Tala, please survive. But the both of them gone Dude, my feels are hurt. Um, and it just makes me sad because everyone's lost another person he cares about. Like, why? <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, episode 5, part 5. Like, ugh. I absolutely love this, guys. I hope you did as well. Um, I absolutely adored it. And I honestly cannot wait to see what they do next week. It's going to be interesting. But, um, yeah, it's, oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. And again, the flashbacks, like, I'm wondering how they're actually going to end it, because that's going to be really, really interesting. But anyway, oh, I'm excited. <laughs> so, I, oh, I want to keep talking about this show, but I got to go to bed. So, yeah, I'm going to quickly end this, because otherwise I won't, I won't stop talking about this. So, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl, out. <laughs>